don't know what part of the hall this is gonna go in, whether it's gonna be the beginning or the middle or that. I don't know, probably the end, so, or the middle. So this is, I unfortunately couldn't wait to use all of this stuff. Like I had to take it because I am starting to clip horses, but um, a few things came in from what I've been ordering. Um, I just got these, they are the Herm Springer spurs. I think they're a half inch. Um, they're just regular spurs. I just needed another pair and they were on sale. So I got those from Dover. And then I also got from Dover um, a new clipping kit. So this is the Oyster, Oster, Oyster, is it Oyster? Clipmaster um, variable speed clippers. Um, it came with this little like carrying case or whatever. Um, and I got this from Dover as well. But I got the heavy duty ones because I'm going to be clipping all the horses in the barn. Um, so I just needed another set of clippers. So I got those to use on all oh, the ponies. And then um, I got, so I got that from Dover. Um, from Smart Pack, I ended up getting, let's see, I ended up getting four blades, but I got two replacement blades from Oyster for these clippers just to have, just because I am gonna be clipping a lot of horses. And then I do have the um, Andy's, uh, I think it's a duo speed clippers that I would normally use, but I wanted a nicer, heavy duty pair. Um, so from Smart Pack, I also got um, another two sets of the um, Andy's 10 blade. I really like these. These are my favorite blades to use for clipping um, with the Andy's clipper. And then I also got, um, this it's um andy's blade care plus enriched with vitamin e um yeah got that and then i got uh cool care plus for the clipper blades so um just some some stuff and then i did also get another i think this was from dover I think um, but this is one of the ceramic edge ones so I got another one of those blades and then I think with the exception of these that was it that like came in that I have that like I haven't used yet so I just needed to bring that in but I got um, name plates for my show belt um, this one obviously says conservationist for Theo, and then I've got 10 guitars, and then I've got De La Renita. So I got, that's all I have so far. Um, I have a bunch of, oh, actually, now that this is in the car, um, it's so dirty because I used it this weekend, but this is the, uh, trust equestrian i'm so sorry how dirty this is but unfortunately i had to use it um this is renita's new jumping bit it's a hackamore combo bit i got this off farmhouse tech i think for like 280 dollars so it was quite expensive but she goes fabulous in it um i still have basically everything in my car from the show but i just put it on my ps of sweden neeric bridal um but this bit is amazing. She goes so well in it. I am like literally obsessed with her in it. So this was a total win. And if you have a horse kind of like her with a very sensitive mouth, but she's pretty forward, um, this is a fantastic bit for that. So I did have that. Um, I think the next thing, so I have a, I got a new set of stirrup leathers. They are um, Henry D. Revell, so HDR. Uh, they are triple covered, grippy, close contact stirrup leather in Australian nut. 
Um, I think they're, yep, 48 inch. And I got these off breaches.com and I got them in an order with, if I can find it. Um, but I got it in an order with this girth and obviously I've used it because I needed to use it at the show. It is um, a professional's choice, just plain old vent tech girth that I used um, for my jump saddle because I got that CWD, which I will show you guys later um, when I finish this tack haul because I have three new saddles. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yes, I got these, the skirt. So that is it that I have with me so far. All right, it's literally 8.23. I just got home, did some work and now I'm here. So I had three packages when I got home and this is how I'm gonna have to film this because I just don't have time for anything anymore. So I hope you don't mind. But this is my smart pack. I don't remember what this is at this point. Oh, sweet. Okay, I don't know. Um, I got Renita. A main plate for her stall. And I'm changing her show name to D La Renita. And then obviously just Renita. And then owned by Kelsey Cole. So that is that. And I gotta take that and put that on her stall. Uh, next thing I got was from a company called Bridles and Reins. This is new. Never heard of them before. Um, it's pretty. Um, but yeah, I was looking for a bridle and breastplate. And I just wanted something cheap. And this was very affordable but I just don't know what the quality was. I think it's from like Pakistan or something. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, so it came like these. But what made me really intrigued with this one was the fact that it's got the gold hardware, which as you know, I have those beautiful gold stirrups. So I have to take the match match to the next level. Um, I would say this is definitely not like an Antares quality, but I would, I would put it similar to kind of like a cheaper version of HDR maybe. -ish. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just got that like plasticky coating, that plasticky film on it. But for, you know, again, 50 bucks, that's not bad. Okay. All right. So this is the bridle. Um, and then it did come with matching reins. And they're actually all right. I mean, the reins aren't bad. They're just like um, rubber. So, and then they've got the, the keepers on there. So, or the... Bart you go stop. But this bridle is actually not horrible. It's got this is the part that kind of like makes it look cheap is it's like um plastic almost. Yeah. So um but it's got the kincher down on the front. Um this is an oversized, which actually looks really kind of big now that I'm looking at it, but it may not actually be. I don't know, Renita's got a pretty big head, so this is what I had got for her. So, got that bridle, and then, what the hell, they sent me the wrong dang thing. That's great. Okay, well, Never mind, there was supposed to be a breastplate, but they didn't send me the right thing, so that's cool. If you don't know, 
10 had a pole injury and he actually just got his shockwave redone. He gets it done once, one to two times a year. Um, the vet came out today for someone else's horse. So um, he was due. He usually gets it done around October if he only gets it done once a year. So I got what is called an equine light therapy. So this was the small one and I was kind of torn between the small and the medium, but I wanted to get this for his pole and red light therapy. And this is good for horses, for dogs. I mean, I'm gonna try this on myself too. I've been getting a lot of pain in my shoulder right here to where like I can't even grip the reins. So I'm actually gonna test this out on myself and see how that feels while I'm sitting here. But um, I got this off State Line Tech and it's super exciting. So it comes obviously with this little, little case right here. And again, this was a small one. I think this was like 248 bucks. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of different treatments and like, or like things that this can help treat. So I'm excited to have this. This guy in. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, oh, that's bright. So I guess you just, I mean, I don't know. I'll try it here, I guess. Um, I don't know. I need something to. Oh, they had Velcro things. Yeah, this is why you don't do it to yourself. And then. Oop, don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it. <laughs> okay, it shuts off. And we'll see. Cause this muscle, I can feel like this muscle here down into my wrist hurts really bad right now. So we'll see how, how this feels. <laughs> Does that feel good? Here, we'll put it, we'll put it right there. What do you think? You put it there? What's the dog, what's the dog sign of release? No? You good boy? Did you feel nice? All right, round two of the tack haul. And <laughs> I am literally freaking, I don't even know at this point what's happening. So I don't need, okay. So anyway, what happened was I ordered from the website Bridal and Rain, which you saw in the previous clip. I ordered a bridal and I thought I ordered a breastplate and martingale, but it turns out I had only ordered two bridles thinking that so anyway long story short <laughs> long story short I made two orders and then I emailed them saying hey cancel this one I don't need it and they didn't cancel it so I emailed them and I was like yo hey you didn't cancel this this is uh you didn't cancel this, so, uh, hey. So they were like, oh, well, you can just sell it on your own and we will refund you 25% of what you paid. And I was like, no, that's not really how that works. I was like, you're, I mean, I emailed them with ample time before, like it literally the day that I ordered it, I emailed them and was like, hey, 
I messed this up. Can you cancel this one? I've already replaced the order. So all they had to do was cancel the first order and I already replaced the other one. And they were like, oh no, how about we'll just cancel the one item on there? And I was like, no, I'm not, you know, I've already replaced the order, just cancel this order and we'll be good. Okay, okay, okay. So they said they canceled the order. Well, that one that I showed you in the previous clip was the order that got canceled that wasn't supposed to show up. So anyway, long story short, they're refunding me, hopefully. But the actual one that I ordered just came in today. So, <laughs> all right. So I guess here's that bridle that we already knew about, which I actually like this one better, to be honest, than... <laughs> I like this one better, to be honest, than this other one, but oh well, whatever. Now I have two of the same bridle and this breastplate that I think maybe I could darken. I don't know. It's not that great a quality, to be honest. So anyway, this is just a plain, plain old uh, like hunting breastplate, but it's got the kincher on there. And I thought this was going to come out more of like a cognac, but it's like straight up orange. So I could probably put some darkener on it and make it look a little prettier. So I'll probably test it out on this one first and see, but this just strap goes down to the bottom. Okay. Super not exciting, but necessary. I got to the barn. I got to the barn the other day and I saw on our little chalkboard that if we were gonna have blankets, we had to have blanket bags. So, blanket bag. It's the Duratec one. Oh my God, it's really heavy duty. Oh, it's got packets! No, it doesn't. Is it got packets? What's this? Oh, it doesn't have pockets, never mind. But, woo blanket bag. Blanket bag. I got two. One for each horse's stall. And voila. Woo. Um, that's it, that's all that showed up today. Okay, part 8,500. <laughs> I wanted to show you um, the belt that I put the nameplates on. So I've got Theo's, Tins, and Renita's. So that's just, it's a, I think it's just a Tory leather belt. So that's the belt. I think I got it at Dover or Smart Pack or something like that, but now I've got the nameplates on them. So this past weekend, well, what day was it? Can't remember what day we went up there. I think I went up and watched them on Friday. Um, I It was at the NEC um, Championships, the zone, whatever zone we're in. And they had like a little um, tack store, like in a van type thing. They had like all kinds of cool stuff, like PS of Sweden. They had all kinds of stuff, but... Um, I had like bonnets and like a couple bridles, but I didn't need any of that. But I was able to spin the wheel and pick something out for free. So looks a little, a little loved here, but um, I told my trainer to pick out whatever she thought we needed. And this is what she thought we needed out of all of them. So it's just zinc oxide spray. You just spray it on wounds and stuff like that. The silver spray and it kind of creates a barrier, like almost like a band-aid. It's kind of like a liquid band-aid, I suppose, but I got that for free, normally $16.50. Um, the next thing I got was not very interesting, but spur straps. And I have a whole bunch of different types of spurs 
and I needed some more spray straps. So I got, oh, did I get the kids ones? Well, <laughs> well, um, maybe they'll work. <laughs> I'll see. But I got the kids ones, unfortunately. Yeah, Camelot Kids <laughs> Child Spur Snaps. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, so those probably won't work, but oh well. I didn't realize until I had already left. Um, next thing I got was this Fleck Germany. Uh, dressage whip it's rose gold it's got rose gold crystals on it oh my cat's very interested in it <laughs> um this one was 37.50 it's the silk touch one but i thought it was really pretty and i was going to get it for shows but then i decided that the rose gold wouldn't match because my breast my uh my uh, brow band and all that is silver and gray, so I should have gotten just the silver one, but it's okay. I can use this for schooling. Um, last two things I got, they're two of the same, same things, just different sizes. Um, and this is for just client horses and having some extra girths. Um, it's the Ovation Syntec Sheepskin Cool Max Dressage Girth. I got a 26 and a 24 because both of my dressage saddles have different straps. My Schlieza one, I need a longer girth, and my Mac Rider one, I can use a 22. So I got a 24 and a 26. They're actually really nice. They're really comfortable from what it feels like. Um, the the, the um, elastic seems to be really durable. This is super, super, super soft for 49 bucks. Um, but I thought worst case scenario, one for Renita because she, I use my Schleza on her and the 22 inch professional's choice girth that I use for 10 and his dressage saddle is just, a, it's like on the last two holes at the tightest. So it's just too small. So I've been using one of my trainers. So I got these and I plan to probably use either the 26, I probably plan to use the 26 on her and then have the 24 for um, client horses. So this is what the store was, top hats and under that a dressage boutique. <laughs> Cute little bag, but that's the the store that was at the show. So I have now, I don't know, I can't remember what stuff I'm waiting on. I don't think it's much, but otherwise, um, I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs>